TWI, that stays for two-wire interface, is another serial synchronous communication protocol used in embedded systems. Initially, it has been designed by Philips as I2C, inter-integrated circuit, for using in the audio-video appliances controlled by the microprocessor. Interface, as the name says, uses two wires for communication. One is the data line, named SDA, the second is the clock line, named SCL. Both lines are common to all circuits connected to one bus. The master unit always controls the SCL line, this is usually the microprocessor. The signal on the bidirectional SDA line is generated by the master or one of the slaves, depending on the direction of communication. The frequency rate of the communication is up to 100 kHz for most of the chips, for some up to 400 kHz. New implementation allows even higher frequency rate that is reaching 5 MHz. At the output side of units, the lines have the open drain circuit. It means that there are external pull-up resistors needed to ensure proper operation of the TWI bus. Value of these resistors depends on the number of connected elements, a speed of transmission and the power supply voltage. Usually it is assumed between 1 and 4.7 kilo ohms. The data is sent using frames of bytes. Every frame begins with the sequence of signals that is called the start condition. The sequence is detected by slaves and causes them to collect the next 8 bits that form the address byte, unique for every circuit on the bus. If one of the slaves recognizes its address, remains active until the end of the communication frame. Other slaves become inactive. To inform master that some unit has been adequately addressed, slave responses with the acknowledge bit. It generates one bit of low level on the SDA line, while master generates clock pulse. After sending proper address, data bytes are sent. The last bit of the address controls the direction of the data bytes. For zero, data is sent by master, so it means write. For one, data is sent by the slave, indicating read. The receiving unit must acknowledge every full byte, 8 bits. There is no limitation on the number of data bytes in the frame. For example, samples from analog digital converter can be read continuously byte after byte. At the end of the frame, another particular sequence is sent by the master, a stop condition. The I2C standard art also defines the multi-master mode, but in most of the IoT circuits, there is one master device only. Many chips can be connected to the processor with this interface, including EEPROM and RAM chips, analog to digital and digital to analog converters, real-time clocks, sensors like temperature, pressure, gas, air pollution, port extenders, displays, and many others.